In this video, we're going to write a C program to count the number of lines in a file. And this video is actually an update to a previous video I did on this topic to make it more accurate. So here's a file with five lines in it. We're also going to say that lines like this, a blank line with no content on it, is also considered a line in the file. We'll consider it that way too, if the line is in the middle of the file as well. We'll also consider a file with no content at all, like this, to be a file of one line. Some of these decisions are kind of arbitrary. You could write a program where blank lines are not considered lines, and that would be valid as well. But that's how we're going to solve the problem. So the first thing we're going to do to solve this problem is create a file pointer variable. So that way we can access the file and open it and work with it. We're going to ask the user for the file name, and we'll store it into a character array. So we'll say car file name 1024 to declare a 1024 length character array called file name. We'll prompt the user to enter the file name. So we'll say printf enter file. Then we'll store what they enter using scanf into the file name character array. Next, we'll use fopen to open up the file. So we'll say file is equal to fopen file name and then r. So fopen is going to open up the file with this file name. And the second argument here, the r in a string, is going to open up the file in reading mode. And fopen is going to return a pointer to that file that's going to be stored into file. Now, if fopen can't open the file, it's going to return null. So we're going to actually check to see if file is equal to null. Because if it is, we can't really proceed. We'll just say printf error opening the file. Just let the user know that something went wrong. And then we'll return one. We're going to return one to terminate the program instead of zero, because that's actually a signal to the shell here, to the terminal, that something went wrong in the execution of our program. Next, what we'll do is read the file in one character at a time until we encounter the end of file character. And we're going to count how many new line characters we encounter, because that's basically going to tell us how many lines are in the file. So here I'll say int current line is equal to one. That's going to keep track of how many lines have been found in our file. Then we'll make a character variable called C that's going to store each character we read in from the file. We'll use a do while loop to repeatedly read in the characters of the file. And we'll say here while C doesn't equal the special EOF character. We're going to use F get C to actually read in each character and store it into C. So F get C with file as an argument is going to continually read in each character from the file and it's going to be stored into C there. And then what we're going to do is check if C is equal to the new line character. If it is, we're going to increment current line by one. And this is going to continue until C does equal the special EOF character, and then we're done. Next, we'll close the file because we're done working with it. And then we'll print out how many lines we found in the file. So we'll say printf lines percent %d slash n, and we'll output current line. So we'll save this here now, and we'll do a compilation. And let's look at our file again. So here it's got five lines in it. So if we run our program and give it file.txt as the file name, we get five lines in the file. If I put in some blank lines, like here and down here, and save it, and we run our program again with file.txt again, we get line seven now. If the file is blank like this, we said that we would count that as one line, because it's kind of like one empty line. So we run it again, and we get one line. And so this is how we can count the number of lines in a file using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.